I'll find it. All I know is this is all new territory for me. Oh, the graphics are so good. Oh, I just went to grab an arrow off my shoulder. That would be so awesome if they had that. Oh no, we're getting a little loading flicker. I don't know why it does that. It's better now though than when we're in a, when we're uh, better now than when we're in a battle, right? Okay, so that way's locked. I'm assuming that is the exit, maybe, to the new area. So this is where we got off the boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, just a. Uh, the atmosphere is just brilliant. The water dripping here. Can I put my hand on it? Oh, it hits my hand too. Look at that. That's so cool. And it actually stops it too. Like it, there's no no rain underneath my hand. That's wild, man. So that sort of rolls off my hand too. Hmm. So it's the little things like that that you really notice in VR. Shit, I gotta get this lob down here. Serious lob in this game. Oh, okay, let's just get closer. We'll snipe him from like here. Ow. Ah! Woo! It's pretty much just like, you know, the combat could use some work, I think. Uh, it is early access, too. Another thing worth noting that I, I keep forgetting to mention, this game is in early access. Uh, it actually just recently got a nice little, little chunky update, so if that's any indication, they added quite a bit on the last update they put on, so that's... It's a good sign. Did I kill him? I think I got him. No, missed him. This is kind of fun. I like like the lob. The lob doesn't feel realistic to me, like it's, you know, but it's almost like it enhances the experience, you know, it makes it a bit more fun. Trying to gauge your lob instead of just like, if I could just like shoot him like it was quiver, that guy would have been dead long time ago. You know what I mean? So it kind of does enhance the, the, like the archery doesn't feel bad at all. It feels, it feels really good. Very responsive. But it's a matter of, of getting that lob down and learning, learning the lob and how far you got to lob it when, you, when something's really far away. You know, in Quiver, it's like, fuck, you just snipe shit. Like, you know, but it, it feels more realistic in Quiver to me, whereas this doesn't feel quite as realistic. This feels like Longbow. You know, if you played Longbow at all, the archery in this one feels just like fucking Longbow. Immune to petty What's up, VR Bug? How you doing, buddy? Doubt, his champions stepped into the mines. He knew what awaited his That sound like witch, yet, sounds like the witch doctor from Diablo 3. Their success. And if the putrid blood of goblins greased the gears of his machinations, then so be it. So colorful. I'm assuming I gotta get into the dwarven fortress through here. Okay, I gotta be, I gotta be careful here. There's been some points where. Oh. Fuck, yesterday I went seven for seven. Seven of these bugs in a row, all from a somewhat decent range. It's not like I missed one. It's like I ran out of bugs to shoot. I was just sniping it, yo. I was feeling it. it was, you know, I got that feeling. That, that. What up, son? Oh, you, you can't fuck with my touchpad movement. You keep dodging my shit too, though. <laughs> son of a bitch. Fucker. <laughs> 
I like that, how they dodge like that. Ooh, damn, headshot right in the back of the head. Do you see that? Working on the Rift today kept just crashing. Really, eh? That sucks. I hope this game turns out turns into a deal. Oh, dude, Forest. I actually own it, Forest HDH. Papa Biddy's actually gifted me a copy of Alpha Mike's Foxtrot. I own it. I I, I want to try it out. It's just, fuck, man. It's really hard for me to play something that's not BAM. Like, I've played BAM for so long. It's, I know it all like the back of my hand. You know, I, I find it hard to... I can always try it. But what I'm saying is, I, I find it hard to see a game dethroning, you know, a game in uh, immediate early access, taking my playtime over something that's been in early access for over a year. Ah, ah. There's my green screen. Move over this way a bit. Oh, see, my, I can't sprint left. My fucking touchpad. That's tough. Oh, spinorama. I say I want them to make it so it's just full speed sprinting without pressing your stupid touchpad button. Every, I think every single dev in VR needs to not. Uh, this isn't me shit talking the devs here either. Like they, they, they're fully aware that. Uh, they, they know about it. I was talking to them on YouTube yesterday. But uh, every dev needs to stop tying locomotion to pressing the touchpad button. Because, because, and I'll tell you why. It's because of the stupid factory defect on the Vive controllers. Where I'd say probably a good 70% of Vive users have a touchpad that doesn't go to the top right. The, the you know, the, the fucking like one one o'clock, two o'clock position is always broken for Vive users. So when, when you tie your sprinting to actually pressing the button, like, you know, it'd be nice here if you could just toggle it. If I could just toggle it, you know, just press the button to start sprinting, I'd be fine with it. But the fact that I got to hold sprint in the direction I want to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's it's it, like I said, they gotta they gotta address that. Uh, every every single dev needs to understand that you can't be tying constant button presses to the touchpad on Vive. You can't, you just can't do it. Oh shit! Where the fuck did they come? See, I'd like to have like a uh, Jesus. What, did he block it or something? Ah. Uh. See, I'd like to have like a trap or something, like some sort of skills, like a fucking ranger, you know? I think that'd be really cool. Like, I think they have the, the combat is in place here. The combat feels good, but it needs a little bit more to it. That's it. That's all it needs. I need, I need like a couple of skills and abilities, you know? more skills and abilities the merrier maybe give me like two to choose from but give me like fucking 20 of them you know like i love those games that's why i love diablo i love diablo 3 like as much as much people shit talk that game i fucking love the whole skill system dude i had like like four or five level cap characters i brought two of them to like a fucking like far end game and shit like i love the itemization in that game and it sucked at first oh see that dodge I love how I can just chill out here, talk, and just uh, pull off some crazy legless like bow and arrow skills, you know? It's a gorgeous game. You repaired yours? Yeah, I've repaired mine, dude. I've repaired, uh, I've got, okay, I got three controllers, right? So my touchpad went on both my controllers. I fixed them. I fixed them perfectly fine, like by myself. I voided my warranty on both my controllers. Uh, then the haptics went out on one of my controllers, <laughs> so I couldn't return it. I couldn't get it under warranty because I already fixed my touchpad, right? Uh, so then I got, I, I bought a third controller, and I, I, you know, I didn't mind buying a third controller. I wasn't buying it specifically for the touchpad. I bought it because I wanted something to track a camera with as well for mixed reality streaming, yeah. right? 
And uh, so I bought that new controller. Dude, within a week, that new controller was fucked. One week. I can kill these guys way faster, I guess. Yeah, my touchpad was gone on that brand new controller in the first week. You know what I did? I was a stupid motherfucker and I fixed that one. So I voided my warranty on my brand new controller right away. I just don't want to deal with the support and just waiting for fucking, you know, waiting for HTC. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. So now I got, but now my, now my original two controllers, the one of them's got the missing haptics, but now their touchpad's going on them again for a second time. And it's the same spot, the top right corner. Brand new controllers. Yeah, this 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 right hand one, I can't go to the north. North uh northeast. Doesn't work, it's just done. I can go left and right. Right's a little bit fucky, but left left I can go fine. This one seems to be okay. The one on the one on this hand seems to be okay. You know what I don't get? Okay, so I think that, um, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I think that they're not addressing this problem on purpose because it's basically, you got tons and tons and tons of fucking Vive, Vive users that are voiding their warranty on their controller. You know, everyone's doing it. Everyone's voiding their goddamn warranty. And you gotta think, is it cheaper for them to, like you gotta think of what HTC's thinking. Is it cheaper for HTC to fix this problem and then start getting controllers back under warranty? You know for other problems or is it cheaper for them to just leave this issue be leave it unaddressed because dude my brand new fucking controller that i bought like what two weeks uh i say it, about a month and a half ago brand new controller same exact same thing happened and you gotta ask yourself like why how the fuck is this not addressed yet it's an obvious factory defect so how the fuck is it not, not addressed uh Should put this on a harder difficulty. I'll play it through again sometime on a harder difficulty. I'll play on the impossible difficulty. Um, yeah, yeah, that's probably the plan next time. Is yeah, that's that's the problem I have with uh, one of my controllers. Is the the black thing is just I can't use it anymore. It's just, it's just done. It's chewed up and shit. Uh, the first one I fixed. I what I did was I I just reused the same rubber thing and I, I super glued it with uh. You know, plastic safe super glue. And it hasn't, it hasn't fucked up since. So, what, you used a little piece of duct tape, yeah? Is that what you did? <laughs> this is, yeah, it's a bit too easy. They need to, what they need to add here is not only give me some skills and abilities, but give some skills and abilities to the, the, uh, the enemies too. Like, you know, the spear, spear guys, give them like a fucking, like a, a lunge or something like that, where you act, you legit have to sidestep it. You know, something like that. Take advantage of the VR room scale, you know? Give the pull, pull arm guys a, like a lunge. Oh shit, wow, there's a lot of them there. Oh, he's far away. There's an arrow to the face. How's that feel? All right. I repaired mine yet. I put a small square of duct tape over the little black dot, which enhanced the con contact. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try that out. It just, it really shocks me that it hasn't been addressed, you know? They haven't addressed the problem. Okay, right, I'm gonna go up this way. It seems like a much safer way to fight them. Oh, fuck! Maybe not. Maybe not. Holy shit, where the fuck do they come from? Holy shit, dude. Call them. Yeah, 
see, right now I should be able to spam my fucking arrows, you know? Instead, I can only shoot them as fast as the cooldown allows me. I'm slowly whittling these guys down. Oh shit, there's guys over here too. Uh oh. Shit, this is crazy. Oh, fuck off. Another one? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> I like the whole zone, man. Kill one? Oh shit, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> they do run fast. Yeah, that's why I kind of like, I'd like to have some sort of, uh, uh, just some sort of, what's going on here? This is where I came in, right? This is where I came in? Yeah, this is where I came in. I like to have some sort of, uh, just crowd control, dude. Like, it just seems like weird that I just have to constantly run. There's no way for me to deal with multiple enemies at all. At all. I just gotta run around in circles and fucking shoot one arrow at a time. I, was try I keep trying to grab an arrow from my shoulder. That'd be such a good fit for this game. about the smoothness. Yeah, I'd like to be able to shoot faster though. That's one of my main things right now is I'd like to be able to. Now that I got my locomotion sorted out somewhat, uh, I'd like to be able to shoot my arrow twice as fast. You know, like bam, bam, bam. Even make me do less damage, you know? Nerf me. Oh shit, I've seen that one coming. Slow motion. Oh, fuck. Ran right into that one, too. Owned. Something, man. Have you played this for us, HDH? I'm assuming you've played it. You seem like you've played it. Little shit here is moving around a lot, isn't he? Oh, what the hell are you gonna do there? What are you gonna do there? Oh, you're gonna do a fucking Hail Mary, is he? <laughs> I see what you're gonna do there. Like a blind shot out of nowhere. So bad, you're so bad. Look at you, you're so bad. Take an arrow to the knee, how's that feel? Oh shit, an arrow to the hand for me. Oh, that, that would hurt. Right in between the fingers like that? Dude, that would hurt so bad. Very distracting, though. Well played on the distraction. Oh, right in the face! Oh my goodness, I am doing horrible. Okay, what's the, where's this guy going? Is he gonna run around and pull the whole fucking zone now? Watch. He's gonna run around and pull the whole zone. I wonder if they link. I'm actually curious if they if they link. I know the wolves do. Easy peasy, take them one at a time, you know. We're in no rush here, we got all night. Oh, too hard.
Oh, really? Are you serious? I gotta start turning the other way. Like, seriously, I'm gonna tangle myself up really bad. I just can't circle strafe somebody and shoot the other way. I can't do it. My body is f f incapable of, my brain is incapable of like making my body parts do it. <laughs> it's like when I try to turn around this way and shoot a bow, it's really fucking awkward. See? Immune to petty impulses of fear and doubt, his champions stepped into the mines. How much money we got, anyways? 3,000. Wow, we should probably go back and upgrade chosen. our shit. Yet, he had every confidence in this. Well, do we have 3,000? And if the putrid blood of goblins greased the gears of his machinations, then. There is so a melee weapon? Else. Yeah, these bad boys. Look at you can go. But. But, every time I try to do melee, I take damage. Alright, what do we got up here? Oh! I can't fucking hit him. He just hits me and I can't block it. <laughs> uh, Vanishing Realms definitely has this one beat on melee, I think, so far. So far, so far. Shithead's blocking me. Yeah, it's like rinse repeat now at this point, isn't it? I wonder if there's different kinds of enemies. It's been the same uh, same couple for a while. Again, another thing worth noting though, guys, is this, this is an early access game and it has been updated a couple times since it came out. The last update was really chunky actually, from what I read. Like they had the spiders and shit and the whole first dungeon I did I think was new. Could be wrong. I know, right? What's up, team, Jamie? Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go again. Oh, the... oh no! Uh-oh. I'm hurting. He just fucked me up there, didn't he? Shield guys annoy the fuck out of me because I gotta get headshots. Sometimes I duck it like that. Like bosses. Oh fuck. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh! There we go. All right, we're gonna heal up here. Healing time. What are we gonna eat? Let's eat some cheese. We'll have an apple. Keep, keep a little bit healthy, you know. All the fish and a piece of bread. Eat the full meal. And let's have some more cheese. I like cheese. All right. That should heal us to full. Yeah, that's gonna heal us to full. 
I better get close to full. I'm stuffed. Going into the food coma. Alright, so I don't think I should run the fuck up this time. Last time I did that. Okay, here we go, here we go. That's what I want. Just one at a time. A couple at a time. Inventory full. What? What's this? Approved cedar longbow. What do I have now? Willow longbow. Eat some fish. Maybe I should go back to town. Maybe this is a sign. Apple core, I don't need that. So it keeps my cores, really? Yeah, let's go back to town and sell some shit, dude. Team Jamie, it is going mighty fantastic. I've got to say so. Playing some VR on a Monday night, you know? There's nothing more I'd rather do on a Monday night than play some VR. All right, let's go. What's it going to do? Oh, town portal. Town portal scroll, just like Diablo. Very cool how you actually uh, use it. All right, so, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna sell our shit, and we're gonna... I'm gonna go sell our shit and see how much money we got, and we'll try and get fully upgraded, because I'm pretty sure we're, we're at a point now where we can like fully upgrade our shit. We got here, sell this, sell this, sell, sell, sell. Three golden nuggets. Oh, buddy. What's this? More food. We'll keep our food together. What's this one? This looks important. I better keep it safe. Cannot be sold. Okay, so it's just a stupid quest item. All right, so what do we got for money? We got 3,400. What can we buy? So we got the best bow there. We got the best daggers there. I need to buy one of these. All right, so in here, I don't think we really need... What's this? Draconian Fang deals 8 damage. What's mine do? 10 damage, so yeah, this is the one in between. I don't need these. Pretty sure I got the best weapon now. So I got that, I got that. Okay, we're going to buy the chest piece, I think. 12. 24. Oh, it doubles my fucking armor. Yeah, we'll sell this. We'll buy this. I think that's it for upgrades in here now. I think we're fully... Oh, we need some rings. Okay, okay. So how much were rings again? Let me see. Okay, these are downgrades. Yeah. I agree 100%. 100% agree. It definitely needs work. Like, uh, I think what they have right now is a fucking brilliant core game to build on. So now I think what needs to happen is they need to have more enemy types... They need to flesh out the combat, uh, the progression system. Give us a progression system. You know, like, give us some fucking skills. Give us some level ups. Give us, you know, random loot drops. I'm Actually, I'm, not, I'm okay with them just keeping a store here and just having us collect money. I'm okay with that. I think that's a really cool idea. It removes the RNG from everything, you know. Maybe give us some sort of crafting. But I'm okay with them leaving it so it's nothing but gold when you farm. I think that's a great idea. 1500 okay so we're gonna buy one of these critical chance um all right we're good i think i'm good on food for now i got a potion still right yes i do all right so we got 77 health now what's the heart for beating heart sacrifice to reset a dungeon okay Ooh, 
Who's that talking there? I can't see your name. Just wondering what, what should spend money on. Looking for a cool game. Not sure, really. I don't know. Uh, dude, uh, if you got Oculus to tonight at midnight or tomorrow, a game called From Other Sons is coming in. And it's pretty, it looks pretty fucking tight. I haven't played it yet, but I've got it pre-ordered, and I'll be playing that tomorrow night for sure. Um, where am I going here? Wrong way. Okay, we're just going to go back to the dungeon. Just keep farming. Even though we're fully upgraded now. How's my cord looking anyways? Tangled to shit already. Look at that. How, how, how'd I guess? Just completely tangled to shit. I don't know it blacks out some people's names. Is it just because your name is the, is the color black? Oh, Stinky Chief, okay. Uh, games, games to buy right now. Fuck, Serious Sam, dude. Crow Team Games, Talos Principle, Serious Sam, 3. I highly recommend just getting 3. It's the best of the 3 by far. It's easily, to me, Serious Sam 3 is like the best shooter in VR. I might actually play some of that tonight. I still got to beat it. Should be close to the end of it, but. Sorry for making you guys dizzy. I'm just uh, untangling my shit here real quick. All right, we're good. Good to go. Yeah, uh, this game's on sale right now. Carnage Chronicles, I recommend it. You know, it's early access, but, it, you know, it's early access for a reason, right? They're looking for more funding. And I think they got a, quite the gem on their hands here if they can flesh it out a bit more. They definitely, okay, so what I can tell with the devs of this game is they definitely have fucking a brilliant artist. They have nice animations. Uh, get the fuck out of here. What the hell am I thinking? Uh, they have really good artist, really good animator. Um, really good voice acting really good voice actors already like the voice acting has been amazing um it's like they got a recipe they got the perfect recipe right now all they gotta do is just uh, add a couple more ingredients and it's fucking you know gourmet meal oh, I'm gonna try to pull my arrow my bow is not even in my hand Right in the face. Okay, I'm kind of scared to run up because last time I did it, I got attacked by like fucking six guys. Oh, here comes someone. Or is he just pathing? Oh, oh. It's so funny, you like see the arrows in slow motion coming right at you. Oh, this guy's quite the boss, isn't he? Oh, critical hit. Oh, <laughs> right in the face. I love it. It's very satisfying uh, long distance arrow fights in this game. Nutshot. Fuck, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. My health at. Pop some food real quick. What's this? Where are these three slots here? Hmm. I don't know what those two slots, those three slots are. Weird.
fuck's sake, I hate these guys. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, bats? What the hell happened there? Where'd they come from? All right, so we're doing pretty good. Not so bad, not so bad. We want to look for a checkpoint at this point, though. I'll we'll have to fight through all these guys again. Whoa! Where did he come from? Oh, right in the dick. I like that, buddy. Right in the balls. Right in the ball sack. Scrotum shot. He looks pretty cool. Oh. More food. I like how I can touch stuff with my bow and it picks it up too. I'm lazy, my lazy ass, you know? Right? Okay, so we're going into uncharted territories here, boys and girls. Oh, oh shit. Ooh, he just sliced me up pretty good there. I hear someone behind me. Taking stupid hits that I don't need to be taking. There we go. I heard they are actually uh, going to have an option to change the cooldown of the arrow. I, I, I really don't like that part of this, uh, the bow fighting in this one, is how it takes a second for the arrow to respawn. I think it should be either, it should be either, one of two things, it should be either instant respawn in, in the in the bow, like raw data, or you should have to pull the arrow off your shoulder. Like if, if you want to cool down on the arrow, so so you can't just spam it like crazy, like raw data, like, you know, psh, psh. in raw data, I could just like shoot arrows as fast as I could pull them, right? Uh, whereas, you know, it, and this, you probably don't want that. It'd probably be a little bit OP if you could just fucking spam them like that. Which is why I think the best best option in this game would be to just reach over your shoulder and grab the arrow. Because that does take time. You know, it's, it, it takes, like, time to shoot your arrow, then reach over, grab it, and then put it back in, you know, back in like that. Like, it'd almost be a, a longer cooldown on the arrow. But the thing is, you don't have that, that moment where you just miss your fucking arrow, which is, to me is very frustrating. When you're trying to kill something and you go to reach for your arrow and it's not there. <coughs> you pull back and, you know... You pull nothing back. You, you'll see me many times while I'm playing this, where I go to, go to shoot a second arrow. I go like that. Oh shit! I missed it. Oh shit! I missed it. You know, very very uh, frustrating. Ooh! Who would have thought the fucking toe shot was a uh, critical? How'd he go? <laughs> I 
All right, we're working our way back up here then. Fuckers ducking and dodging and shooting arrows in my face. Hell, how'd that not kill him? Whoa. My health at 38. All right, let's pop some food real quick. We'll go this guy right here. A couple apples. for the dick. I'm aiming for it. There's a checkpoint. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted to see. I'm pretty sure it's chance. Uh, there might be increased chance depending on where you hit, but it's definitely there's a chance because if you look at my gear here, I've got uh, increases critical hit chance by 2%. So there's definitely a chance on any part of the body, I'm assuming. It might be like, you know, headshots have a higher chance to crit, I'm guessing. I'm just, I'm just guessing that I don't know really. But. What the hell? Are you serious? Like, it, like you could tell probably just from watching that there there needs to be more to the combat than this, you know? Like every every fight, like this is a boss, right? But what exactly am I doing differently against this guy? Not really anything, right? Just kind of cut killing him, you know? Move, shoot, move, shoot. Son of a bitch up there keeps hitting me. <laughs> the arrow in the face is pretty cool. It's actually quite distracting. You got an arrow stuck in your stuck in your eye. Go for the dick shots again here. Ooh, right on the tip. It's <laughs> the lob is pretty fun. I gotta say, at first I didn't like it. Like I've never been a fan of the longbow uh, longbow game really. I much prefer quiver and fucking bullets and more, and just those bone arrows are just so much better to me. But this is pretty fun, having a little shootout with an NPC with some heavy lob. Just think longbow, except the guys are shooting back at you. And you got touchpad movement. There we go. <laughs> right in the face. Yeah, like I said, man, this game has uh, the perfect recipe for something really, really awesome. And I think all it needs, they've got the fucking graphics, they've got the environments, you know. They've got uh, maybe some more environments would be cool. I haven't seen uh, the other environments, right? So there could very well be more environments I haven't seen yet. I don't know. But, uh... We got some food. Eat some fish. Keep our health topped up, you know, keep our inventory empty. This piece over here. Keep the junk organized. I like keeping my shit organized in games like this. See you, Tame Jamie. Have a good one. Thank you for, thanks for swinging by. Dick shots galore. See, I'm telling you, I'm going for their fucking dick. Their weakness critical hit chance plus 80. Oh, 
Oh, this guy's up here shooting me too. Fuck, I didn't even realize that. This guy's got a good shot. <laughs> Just arrows sticking out of me everywhere. What's my health at now? Jeez, that, that took some good hits there. Get some bread. Alright, keep trucking along here. An eyeball, perfect. Good to sell. Something uh, something to sell to the vendors. Oh, look at that. Fifty dollars, wow. I love the water dripping. I love how it hits my hand. Where the fuck is the bug at? I hear him. Whoa, 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 Go, there we go. Nice little golden nugget. Those things are worth a pretty penny. There's some bread. Uh, lovely. Let's see what our health's at. 62. We can pop a thing of bread. Yeah. Why not? Where the hell is this bug at? Oh, what's going on down here? So we can go down that spot. Any enemies over here? Doesn't look like it, does it? I love the art style. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant, uh, aesthetically pleasing art style. Where the hell did he come from? See, like, how the, how's that melee? understand the melee really like what am i doing here that wrong there where i can't hit him it's like do i aim at specific body parts or how does it work i'm not quite sure how much damage did i take there okay i didn't take any damage good okay so it looks like we're locked here these guys get through the gate Should I not be doing this? They're the dumbasses that are just standing there and fucking getting hit in the face with arrows. You could like run away, you know? You could unlock the gate or maybe crawl under it, like Jesus. I'm just trying to justify myself not being cheap. Alright. Oh, jump Jesus, where the hell did he come from? All right, so what was the next thing we wanted to buy? Oh, yeah, another ring. Yes.
<laughs> you thought you were gonna get me, didn't you? Burning noise always gets me. I am totally must have been like legless in a previous life or something, something along those lines. Where the hell did these guys come from? See, I can't run that way for some reason. I don't know if it's my touchpad. That's that's one of the main reasons that I hate how I got to press touchpad. Because I don't know if it's just the game doing it or if it's my touchpad not working. Another two down. Let's keep them coming. Shit, hiding around the corner there. What do we gotta do here? Walk across. Shoot that. Uh, this is a neat little puzzle. I think, I'm not quite sure. Oh, there we go. Somehow that worked. I don't know what I did, but I just turned them all off. Something was this. This could be valuable to a shopkeeper. Okay, so that's junk. That with the junk. More food. Here's more junk to sell. The dwarves built his ruins in there long ago, as part of the outer defenses of the city beneath the mountain. This was their home, yet they abandoned it. The saga claims the dwarves left and orcs and draconians infested the land. A lie so ancient the dwarves themselves believe it to be true. That's really weird. <laughs> I didn't notice the hands did that.
Okay, so I'm assuming that opened the door of those guards I recently killed. What's up, Z-Tran? What's new and exciting, man? How's the how's the worm going? Z-Tran, another Twitch streamer, boys and girls. He's been doing a game called Worm Unlimited. It's a very, very in-depth MMORPG. All about uh, communities working together to build a build an entire world, basically. Jesus, I'm sucking. How can I hit this guy? There we go. There we go, there we go. Collect our money. All right, keep on trucking along here. Uh, 41, time to eat some food. Pop an uh, apple. We got the, what's this? The pear? Gourd. Petrified bloodsucker, nice to have. Sell value. Petrified egg sack, nice to have. What's that mean? A petrified egg sack? Oh, look, it's got the bug inside it. Look at that. That is so cool. See that shit? You guys see in there? Look at him. I see a mosquito inside it. I gotta save that. Hatch us some baby mosquitoes. Start a mosquito farm. Always wanted to have my own mosquito farm. Ooh, we hit the checkpoint. Lovely. Just the art style, dude, is so just, it never gets old, you know? Like I was saying yesterday, I just can't, I can't help but imagine an MMO RPG, like World of Warcraft caliber, you know? What the hell does this mean? Oh, boss fight, there we go. Oh, mages, what the hell is this? That was pretty sick, dude. Yes. Uh, is this place about to cave in or something? Is that what the hell I'm seeing right here? I feel like I should be in panic mode right now. Goblin blood decorated the ruins. Spilt by the might of his champions. His prize lay within their grasp. Could they sense the feverish pulse of its corruption? How could they, when they themselves had no heart to beat? Oh, 
Oh, just admiring the scenery. Very, very, very good artwork in this game. All right, we're done in here, it looks like. I haven't really been following the, the story along too much. I never really do when I'm streaming. I always, every time there's a part of dialogue, it's my instinct. I instinctively look at my Twitch chat instead of listening to the goddamn dialogue. <laughs> so I always, uh, whenever I'm streaming, I lose track of lose track of what's going on. This happened in Destiny 2 as well. I was playing Destiny 2, kind of followed along the story for a little bit, and then all of a sudden it was just like, oh wow, I just completely gapped out on the past three cutscenes. I don't have no idea what's going on. Who the fuck's this guy? Who the fuck's that guy? You know? Wait, what? What's going on here? I'm gonna get to fight dwarves. Please tell me I'm gonna get to fight dwarves. The stage was set for a new act in this grand design, yet the actors remained unchanged. He pondered what might have been had a circle been there to guide the goblins and the corruption first infested their minds. Within his flock, there was always room for more. Dude, look at that shit. That looks so cool. Wow. Oh, inventory full. All right, let's go back to town. I wonder if I can get back to town this way. So if I go through this, where's it gonna take me? Let's see. I think it's gonna take me home. I'm just gonna take a wild guess here that's gonna take me home. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so now we know where, where we're at. Beautiful, beautiful. Perfect timing to go to the go to the store and sell our shit. Petrified Bloodsucker. I wonder what the hell that's for. Maggots. Oh, that's disgusting, dude. Look at that. So gross. So we saved it. That's nice. Uh, we're getting pretty crammed on Let's eat the apple. Potion down here. He's down here, so we got one, two, three. Don't need that, I'll just eat it. Okay, so I don't know what this is for, if I'm supposed to sell it or keep it. I'm just gonna keep it for now. Uh, what do we need to upgrade to? Oh yeah, we need our other ring, which is no longer here. Damage from acid, what the hell's the acid damage? Have you seen the luminescent fungi that is scattered across these caves? I've never seen those before. So where's my second ring at then? I can't buy one here. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it just needs to respawn, I'm guessing. I don't even know what, what's there, what's supposed to be there. I have never seen anything on there before. I got a price tag though, so it's gotta be something. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's something they're planning on putting in, you know? All right, keep on trucking. Let's go down back into the dungeon. To the dungeon we go. Going into the Dwarven Fortress, I believe it's called. Something like that. I 
the Eye of the Dwarves. That's what it's called. This is where our mission sends us to, our main, main mission, so we're about to unlock the next part of the story. I think it's, I'm pretty much getting close to the end, though. This is probably the last part, the last dungeon. Um, fuck, dude, I've been playing for probably, what, four hours. How's my, uh... Untangle a little bit here. The stage was set for a new act in this grand design, yet the actors remained unchanged. He oh, that's so amazing. Been, had a circle been the water, to dude. The goblins what? and the corruption first infested their minds. Within his flock, there was always room for more. Oh, they know I'm coming. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. Oh, horrible. I'm doing really bad. Now that I got more space to work with here, I think. I'll tell you that building looks pretty damn intim intimidating. Alright, so I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen right around the corner here. The flaming sword's cool and all, but it doesn't really add anything to the mechanics of the fighting. So I think is the main thing needed right now in this game is just more fighting mechanics. Give me some, give him some fucking like a flame fucking throw or something. Or I can't just do this over and over. <laughs> the water just looks so badass. Yeah, 
you can tell they were going for that intimidating, you know, feeling when you're when you're approaching this building. The spire, we'll call it. Oh, what a shot. Oh, what a shot again. <laughs> oh, weave. Damn, he nailed that one, didn't he? We think we think we're good. Whoa, fuck. All right, I can't do both of these guys at once. <laughs> Rinse repeat so I could just kind of like uh, every time I hit him I kind of daze him a little bit so I could just like shoot him daze him and then step back a couple steps then he has to walk forward to hit me and I daze him before he even swings again Missing anything here? I don't think we are. Some money here. Bunch of money here. All right, so looks like I gotta get this bridge down somehow. I'm guessing. <laughs> what an awesome castle they made here. Um... 
Fogo! <risos> Oh my god, just like the, the cooldown on the arrow just drives me bonkers. Constantly reaching for an arrow and it's not there. Oh, where the fuck did he come from? I will hit headshot this guy. Those daggers like block everything, don't they? Fucking arm sore. these guys for shit. Perfect. Look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's all still clear for me. I'm loving it. What the fuck? Uh, inventory closed, please. my balance. shot highlight of the fucking night right there right, I probably gotta untangle my shit like crazy right now oh fuck yeah I do just that circle strafe just really really fucks my cord but I don't know how else to do it really I get circle strafe the other way but then I, I just like I can't I don't know I can't I can't explain it I wonder if I switched hands, put my bow in the other hand. I could go around the other way. That would feel weird though. I'd be like throwing a baseball with my left hand. Oh, 
Oh, that fucking loading screen. Go, there we go. Hope we got some money down here we missed, apparently. What's our health like? 19 health. Ooh, that's not good. to the gut. That would have hurt really bad. Alright, we made it to a checkpoint. I'm going to assume that this is going to be a boss fight. I it just kind of looks like a boss fight to me, you know? Just, hopefully it's some big badass dwarf or something. Oh, it's all of some sort. Holy shit, dude! Holy shit, dude! <laughs> he just swiped his own guy. This is what I'm talking about. This is what it's like right here. This is what we needed. Too easy, but whatever.
is awesome. What am I supposed to do here? crazy okay so my, my cord has to be just like out like one big cluster of cord right now yeah that's pretty fucking bad all right close your eyes twitch i'll do you a favor because i'm going to turn around a whole bunch of times here there now you can just watch me turn around How's it feel, Twitch? Is this entertaining? Am I entertaining you guys? <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. So I wonder if this is the end of the game here so far. Like this is pretty pretty awesome little boss fight. <laughs> God, I gotta say this is pretty sick. I'm gonna highlight this shit tonight. I had a couple, a couple arrow shots tonight too that were just pretty highlight worthy. That last one I had out here where I took out the guy on the fucking the the crossbow there. Oh man, it was like a hundred yard shot, just completely like out of the blue, just fucking randomly shot it up in the air and it landed. Headshot, one shot kill. All right, my arms. I'm I'm legitimately just untangling myself really well here because I need to give my arms a little bit of rest. Oh. Just holding your one arm, this my like my left shoulder is like in pain right now. Just holding it out like this for so long is just oh. Stretch it out, boys and girls. Stretch it out. All right. That's my. That's a, actually a really good point. Uh, I'm gonna try that actually. All right. So if that shield drops, I, I guess that's all I really need to watch for. That if that shield drops, I'll start attacking that thing. fucking shoot my arrows as fast as I want. You know what I mean? Like, just be like fucking legless. It'd be so much more fun. I can easily balance that shit too. Just like, you know, just bring my damage down. Ah! 
he just hit his own guy. Fucking sick. Whew. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, good call, Team Jamie. Team Jamie gets some points. Alright, right, so fuck I didn't change it in my chat. I'll just leave it on the I'll leave it on that chat for now. Okay, so have we just beat the game? I think we may have just beat the game. Maybe not. Maybe not. Just gonna make sure we got everything here. Looks like there's some money over here. Oh maybe not. Apple, we'll take it. That was a pretty awesome boss fight. That's exactly what I've been craving from this game. It's just more fighting mechanics, just like that. I need to give the fucking other enemies some of those abilities. They had done it. His prize was secured. The first stroke on an immense canvas. For the first time in an eon, he allowed himself to feel something. Anticipation. He smiled a smile that caused stars to flick alone. It feels like the end. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like the end to me. But it'd be kind of weird though because we got like a quest log and there's like a side quest tab and shit, and you know, and like, like I said, this is early access though, so there's there's definitely more to come. You know, this isn't a complete game. A brilliant base to build upon, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and as of right now, I think I've got, what, five hours in this game? I'm going to highly recommend uh, people invest into this dev team because they obviously know what the fuck they're doing. they got some talented artists behind them. What's this? All right, so this is our player housing, I believe. I think our, our chest is still locked. Yeah, must be an inventory system they're going to be implementing eventually. I'd love to see them have uh, this game and make it sort of a, a random dungeon crawler, you know, have all random gen shit. All right, inventory. Let's get rid of this. This. Uh, what's this? Oh, plate. I have the dwarves, okay. All right, dialogue time. I sensed the vortex.
vortex dissipating. And I sense something now, something in our vicinity. An arcane pulse of some sort. Did you bring something? You found what I was looking for? Excellent. Brush my bolts. If this is what I think it is. But how did it end up? The arcane circle would want to see this. Oh, they would want that very much. Perhaps I've misjudged you, Merkwraith. Perhaps there's some truth to the prophecies about you, after all. I promise to give you enlightenment. And I will, or at least I'll begin to. Yours is a tale that is long and complex, and better told by someone who knows the arcane law better than I. But this I know. You were made 5,000 years ago, at the very end of a bloody war between the good sovereign and his enemies. You were the paragon of his art, the children of his cunning, his sword, in a battle he ultimately lost. Nobody quite knows what happened to you, but uh, your return was always in the stars. An elven king who died many years ago. He is of little importance to you. Now, we serve the same masters, although you hold a slightly higher standing than me. Your coming heralds the beginning of a new era, but um, I don't want to be the one telling you what that entails. The circle will inflate your ego with superstitious babble, I'm sure. They can give you the bad news as well. Mm. Until next time. That's it? I'm quite sure I see the point in having a main quest uh, and side quest tab. There's only one quest. <laughs> one main quest. Side quests. There's only one. Ancient tomb. So I gotta find the ancient tomb in there for my side quest. But what does that even give me? Anything? Vortex seems to be fueled by some magical force. Okay, we did that. We're done in the main quest. Hmm. I think I'm done. Like, am I done? I don't know. Like, let's, let's see if I can talk to this guy some more. We serve the same masters, although you hold a slightly higher standing than me. Your coming heralds the beginning of a new era. But um, I don't want to be the one telling you what that entails. The circle will inflate your ego with superstitious babble, I'm sure. They can give you the bad news as well. They are called the Arcane Circle. They're a group of mages with ambitions taller than Mount Umbra itself. In times of old, they instilled fear and respect in the hearts of orcs and elves, but now their existence is all very good voiceovers, forgotten. which is they very rare for VR games. Terrorin stands on the brink of a reckoning. A storm that will upend the world as we know it. I wouldn't pay too much heed to that. If you ask them, your coming is part of an age-old prophecy. If you ask me, your coming was foreshadowed by scholars. You've been around before, and your awakening is tied to the stars. Not to the whims of gods. I am a magical construct, created as a servant to the Magi of the Circle. My standing, however, is well below that of any servant of the flesh. My fragile consciousness does not belong to my being, but to that of the Circle. Like the human to the elven aristocrat, I am a slave. Oh, what a bitter bondage that has been. Until next time.
So I think I still have one quest to do, but I'd have to go through that cave again. Maybe we'll go do that real quick right now, see if we can find it. Gotta find a tomb of some sort. Yeah, let's go see. We'll go try. Up oh, this way. But I think I may have beat the game. So that's still locked. All three gates are open. You know, I've beat them all. So I beat this one, I beat that one. Let's check it out. If it resets and all the enemies are back, I'm not gonna bother that for right now. I'm gonna take a quick break and uh, go do something. Maybe pop into a different game. Maybe I'll play some ping pong. Kind of have a craving to play some table tennis. Maybe we'll play some bullets and more, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I do think I, I, I beat this game. Okay, so now we're just gonna look around. Gotta find a tomb of some sort. Do I already have it? No. down there. How do you get over here? Hmm. I don't think it would be here anywhere. Uh, it definitely wouldn't be at the fucking entrance. Maybe it's in the room with the boss. We'll see. I hope I don't gotta fight the boss again. Alright, oh, there's a skull. Alright, eyes peeled. We're looking for a tomb of some sort. Alright, 
They're looking for a tomb of some sort. Hmm. It's supposed to be hidden in here somewhere. I don't see it in here anywhere. I don't, I don't think there's anything in here, to be honest. But it says it's in my quest log that it's hidden in here, hidden, hidden in here somewhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's cheese. Fucking false alarm. It's over here. So what the hell am I missing? Hmm. I don't see anything anywhere. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we beat it. I'm going to call her quits here for a bit. I gotta charge my controllers a little bit, so I'll be gone for probably 10 minutes or so. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut down the VR for tonight and play something else, some 2D games. Chill out for the rest of the night. Give the fucking. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll do. Maybe I will try and repair my controllers again with some duct tape. Yeah, I don't know where that uh, tomb is. So we'll, I'll read this again here. Okay. The second item in the collector list is an ancient tomb hidden somewhere in the Dwarven ruins located in the Wormscale Mountains. The, the book is said to contain ancient passages of dark magic. The collector gave me a key to a room within these caves. I wonder if I can find something of use there. Did I already get that or what? I don't know. It seems really weird to me that there's like a side quest tab, but there's only one side quest. I'm guessing this is just for future development. Anyways, that's it for our Carnage Chronicle playthroughs. I'm going to take a quick break here. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, highly recommend this game. These are developers we want to be putting our, you know, putting our marbles into. No questions asked. This is, you know, they, they definitely have talent. And basically, you know, when you look at early access and what early access is for, it's for, you know, developers to get more funding for their games, to push their vision further and further along. So I definitely say, you know, buy this game. If you got 20 bucks to spare and you want to fucking have a good, you know, five, six hour uh, little, little playthrough on the initial early access release, I'm sure this is going to be continuously expanded upon, right? So, uh, so yeah, final thoughts are fully, fully recommend buy it play it enjoy it uh give feedback on the steam forums put a review on the steam forums uh basically we want to do everything we can to help these indie devs you know try and make turn some sort of profit and the only way they can do that is by selling mass you know mass uh mass copies of their games and the only way for that to happen is to have some good reviews you know and uh proper funding through early access to you know bring the game to, up to the, up to where they want it to be you know, up, up to where their initial vision ends up. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back a little later on. What's up, man? What's up, Nightfire? Running them things or what? Oh, I just beat the game. I'm probably going to play more Team Fortress 2 because I had so much fun with it last night. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably going to shut her down here for about 5-10 minutes, grab a bite to eat, and then I'm going to play some Team Fortress 2. This game is pretty tight, man. I, I enjoyed it. It's got very basic combat, but it's the kind of thing, like, the last boss fight was sick. The, the last boss fight I just did I was pretty awesome. Uh, I had more more mechanics than just fucking kiting and shooting, right? Like, for the most of the part, most of this game, I've just been like, you know, shoot, move, shoot, move, shoot, move. 
uh, but I think they do have it's basically the you know the basic combat is in, is in place right now and I think they have a really nice little recipe to keep adding on to I want to see them add combat abilities I want to see, uh, as a archer I want to be maybe a ranger instead and give me some fucking traps to lay down give me an explosive trap for AOE give me a fucking you know just a binding trap a freezing trap give me like you know something then also give the enemies the enemies more abilities too like I think the spear dudes should have like a lunge of some sort so you actually have to sidestep it or something you know just something more than just uh you know shoot okay shoot okay shoot okay that's pretty much all i've done i had some pretty uh fun boss fights though where you pretty much really have to like circle strafe like this and fucking shoot stuff around you really fucks your cord up though this game would be a lot better with tp cast or it's just some some sort of wireless vr yeah i'm gonna take a break here but guys and i will be back with some prob probably team fortress 2 Maybe Destiny 2. I don't know yet. I'm kind of undecided. I'm going to go grab a quick little bite, and then I'll decide on my way back. I'll decide after I smoke a big fat bowl or something. But yeah, I'll be back, guys. Thank you. Peace out. Peace out, homies. Tomorrow night, we're doing for, uh, for Mother Sons as well, too, if anyone was curious. I didn't get privileged enough to get early access to it. But yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back.